with Go Green Solar Solutions in Westlake Village, California has over 40 years of experience in solar electricity, solar pool heating, and radiant heat. We are your one-stop solar shop. Hi, this is Greg Johansson from Go Green Solar Solutions. Today we're going to look at your solar electrical system and how it performs. Uh, we only install the SMA inverter, so we're going to be looking at the pre- and post-2007 inverter. If your inverter looks like this, it's a pre-2007 SMA inverter. If your inverter is like this one, it's a post-2007 SMA inverter. You can verify the manufacturing date by looking at the label on the bottom right side of the SMA inverters. First, let's make sure you're checking your solar system in sunny daylight hours. Let's look at your pre-2007 inverter. You'll see three LED lights, green on top, red in the middle, and orange at the bottom. If the green LED light is solid, you're getting solar power from your solar system into your home's electrical panel. If the green light is blinking, then the inverter is trying to connect to the utility grid and send solar power back to the grid, but it can't because a fuse or a circuit breaker has tripped and you need to reset it. A blinking green LED light can also be an indicator of low solar power or a shaded solar array. This typically happens at sunrise or sunset. An orange light bottom LED indicates your solar system has a problem. You should write down the error code on the LED display for reference later on. If you see a GFCI error code, that's a ground fault current interruption that has turned off your solar arrays for safety. A quick solution is to knock twice on the inverter cover. This will reset the GFCI circuit, and if the ground fault is cleared, the green LED light will begin to flash green. Wait 10 minutes and the light should be steady green and you're up and running again. If you have a red LED light, clearly write down the error code that appears on the LCD display. If your inverter LCD display is not working, no LED lights, or if you see an FAC BFR error code, or the GFCI error code doesn't go away, Watch our video on how to reset your inverter to factory settings and see if this solves the problem. Now let's look at the post-2007 SMA inverter. You have a LED display on the bottom right corner of the inverter with three LED lights, green, red, and blue. Green shows the inverter operation, red is the inverter air indication, and blue shows the status of the inverter ethernet or Wi-Fi connection. Starting with the green LED light, if everything is fine, the green light will be pulsing slowly. If the green light is flashing two seconds on, two seconds off, the inverter is trying to connect to the utility grid and is unable to do so. One quick solution for this is to check the AC breaker in the main electrical panel. Switch it on if it has been tripped. If the green light is flashing quickly, the inverter software is being updated over the internet. If the green LED light is completely off, the inverter is not getting power from the solar array on the roof. Please check the DC disconnect on the upper left side of the inverter and make sure the round disconnect is in the vertical position or the on position. If you have a glowing red LED light, something has gone wrong and you'll see an error message code. Write down this code and call us with this information. If you see a steady blue light, your inverter's connection to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet is fine. If the blue light is flashing, the inverter is trying to establish a connection to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet network. We need a Wi-Fi signal of 65% minimum to have a connection work. Don't worry, the inverter can store 30 days of information internally, but don't forget to resolve the issue as soon as you can. We've gone through the LED lights and the display, and if you're not getting any of those and they're off, uh, let's look at the uh, video on how to change the fuses in a solar electrical system.